Hello everyone. Um, the date today is 2018, September 2nd, so it's a Sunday. It's also a little early in the morning, well, less early than yesterday, but still the morning. I could say that at least it's the morning. And today I'm going to finish up this animation. So right now what we have uh, from the rough animation, we have this. Yes, the ball moves and does that. Today I'm going to, I don't know, fix it up a bit. I don't know why, it looks a bit weird somewhat, but uh, we're going to fix it up a bit. We should be. So move this one back one. This one also back one. So, does this work? Yeah, that actually seems better because the anticipation is like, boom, like more impactful. And your, your mind fills in the gaps for that. So today I'm going to try, well, redraw the whole thing, kind of. More so just, more so just, uh, we outline the thing. So maybe I could fix the, opac the opacity on this. Uh, nope, I have no idea how to, properties. Ah, that's where it is. So make it like this. Let's say 50% halfway. Okay, so halfway opacity to make sure that oh yeah, I'm drawing on that so that these that so that the finished one looks crisp and better so am I really just going to redraw the whole thing well kind of um, just to make it look better though instead of the old you know this and by better I mean the line looks continuous instead of um, sketched out, and also fix some of the proportion problems that I that, that happened yesterday, because man, those were some bad proportions, and I'm hoping it doesn't go too long as well. So that's another thing. Like, I, yeah, I think I, I was I was right to actually you know cut it out at this moment. Oh yeah, uh, onion skin. That, that doesn't look good at all. Hang on. Hold on. You know what we do? We do that. Uh, I'll just erase this. Because this is on a different layer than the ground. Erase. Erase all of this because it does not look like a good ball. It's got to look almost perfect. Almost perfect. Close enough to perfect. That it, it's kind of perfect. And I'm using number three, large four B. Which was what I don't I don't know how that works, but okay. It does get a darker line. That's that's the thing that I'm looking for. So if I make it like this, it looks more ball shaped than than the first one. At least I hope people can agree that right. People can agree that that looks more ball shaped. Uh, add the onion skin mode back on, then. And work from there. So, do this. Maybe I should go the other way. Maybe that'll be easier for me. Cause right-handedness. Well, oh yeah, and I can't make a mistake, or I have to Control Z the whole thing. Damn it. Maybe I could do it in sections. So this is, I don't know why my pen keeps lifting, just, just stay straight, so that's section one, that looks fine, section two, okay that looks, okay, section three, nope, uh, the surface is not good for drawing, right, hang on, Fix the fur, the clock, make sure it doesn't do anything bad. Okay, there we go. So, if we do this way, I am so bad at this. So bad at this. 
How did I do the first one? Fine. It was fine in the first stroke. Easy. Done. Boom. That was fast. And then this. Why is this taking so much more time? I think it's because I'm not doing confidence. I need more confidence in the lines. I need to be confident that this is good. It's only okay. I would say it's only okay. But I have to believe that it is good because... Well, at least I, I'm allowed to do that because I'm, I'm not I'm not experienced enough to be critique I, that I can, you know, fully critique my art because I don't have the experience to do that. I mean, I have slightly experience. I have, uh, I have, you know, I've been critical of myself before. I have that knowledge. I'm not sure what anyone else is talking about when they say you need experience to do that. We're all, you know, unless you were like narcissistic and stuff, I'm pretty sure everybody knows that they can, you know, be very self-critical of themselves and are very much, you know, like, depending on the self-esteem, you can either go really, really far down, or just, just be normal. Am I just tracing over? I, I don't think I fixed the volume problems. I don't think these were the volume problems, though. Because I think I fixed them. Does they look, do they look like the volume problems? I'm not sure. Maybe this one, though. This one might be. Oh wait, no, it, it was the other two, like, the hanging balls. The, the ones that are hanging near the top for the peak. So if you look at it now, if you look at it closely, look at it now, and you play it, play it, play it. <laughs> Actually, does the trajectory make sense if you look at it? Because you can see where the outline stops and then... Yeah, it looks like a good trajectory. I would believe that. Mm, okay. So I'm, I can believe that. Um, so let's see. Uh, maybe I should do this one first. But let's see. Uh, onion skin mode on for this. And move to make this one... I think this one is fine with the size of the current other ball, so this one I can easily just do this, which is just a circle. Still not entirely good at drawing circles, but I've gotten better. It's still not rounded. I can't round the whole thing. It, like I make certain, it looks like lines. I can't draw full curves. Um. I think I should draw the end frame here. So, this is the end one. That, I should probably also make some hotkeys for adding a frame and removing a frame. Well, I don't remove frames. But adding a frame or duplicating a frame and stuff. As such. And I can't, why am I lifting going up? Okay. How do, how does this happen? Okay. Maybe I should, okay. If I go straight, see my brain, I don't know why my brain did that. Why did my brain do that? I'm not sure. No. Ah, oh, that, that, that does not look good. No. Maybe it's too far to the left. Maybe. Mm. Control Z currently. Nope. Mm. Let me try this way. Okay. Oh wait, maybe that, that gives me a good idea. Maybe I could sh <laughs> shade the whole thing so it looks fine. That'll take another time. Maybe, maybe I can do that tomorrow, because tomorrow is Labor Day and I don't have class tomorrow, so I could actually do that. Oh no, that does not look good, but yeah, maybe I could do that. Tomorrow I will shade this through and it'll be, it'll look better, because it's 3D instead of 2D. 
2D. Yeah. Sure. Uh, that looks fine. As fine as I can ever be. As fine as I ever can make it. Um, so yeah, this is where I had to fix the proportions on this because the proportions are not good. So yeah, past me. Don't don't do that. Past me. Past me. If I'm gonna talk to past me, um, please don't do this ever again. Get the proportions right first, so I can have an easier time. Sincerely, future version of you. So I'm pretty sure if I do this. Okay, the volume or it's area. Area, it's not volume. Um, the area seems. No, nah, too, it's too rounded on one, and it shouldn't be more, you know, like this, so if I go this way, and do, I don't know, this, and close, it's still not a ball, if I, Move up, down, and does that make sense? Does that make sense? I mean, the ball looks <laughs> the ball is too potato-like. It's too much like a potato. But we'll, we'll chalk that up to it's the water sloshing around inside because it's a water balloon type thing. But the volume see what we want. Area. I keep messing up the vol volume is a 3D thing, area is a 2D thing. So fifteen. How's this work? Oh wait, wait. This should be at nine. That 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 would make more sense. So fifteen. If you hold it on to fifteen. Uh, same thing on this side, except maybe it should go down a little more. And move back up. That is probably the best circle I've ever done. <laughs> wow. Why can't I draw this? This circle should be here. This should be a little bit more elongated. Why did I draw a perfect circle? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well. I guess. Uh... Draw a perfect ellipse, not a circle. Okay, I guess that works a bit. Like this volume seems... It seems to get bigger, actually. Because this one seems wrong, actually. This one seems wrong. Wrong one. No. Erase. Can we erase this? Erase without having to delete the other ones. That is the good thing about animation. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's just general. Just generally. What happened here? Oh, I think I du duplicated this. That's what happened. Uh, just delete this one then. Should have just <laughs> removed it. Um. <laughs> that that no dang it oh well well time to erase this one because this is the one I was supposed to erase not the one near uh twelve Let's see now that that's a good keyframe now it's an empty keyframe that I can now use to fill so I still don't know what to talk about what do I talk about what I'm doing right now yes that I know what I'm the people know what I'm doing this this is what I'm doing you can see. You can see exactly, if, if you can't see what I'm doing, I'll explain it to you. I am drawing. Uh, uh, currently, I'm just control z because I can't draw a good circle, but currently, okay, I'm drawing a circle and a frame and... Um, okay, there. Uh, I'm drawing a frame of my animation, which is in, in a bouncing ball with anticipation and the ball is trying to bounce up. And out, but 
Uh, I can't draw a circle, so it looks like a water balloon that, that's just trying to bounce itself. So it's a sentient water balloon. That's what it is. A sentient water balloon. Yes, a sentient water balloon that, that uh, wants to overcome. You know what? I think I could, mm, I could probably do it in layer one. Like, let me make a wall. Is jumping over the wall or a hump or something, I don't know, a hill. Just barely touches it. Actually, no, that would that would that would actually make it worse. Because then if it touches it, that means that it's going to be um influenced by the I don't know, the the ground and if it's influenced by the ground then it's not uh well, if it's influenced by the ground, then it's not going to take the same trajectory as it is currently doing right now. Wait, oh no, 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 that, that's bad. I guess I can't erase. Um, what, what do I do? What do I do? Um, okay, take this. Uh, go to the color. Um, increase the lightness to white. And ta-da, an eraser kind of thing. Slightly. Slightly like an eraser. Okay. See, now that's more interesting, right? Ignore these little slushes of white, and you're like, what is that? No, that's nothing. Just, just, just ignore that, and look at the hill that it's trying to climb over. Let me put this back to black, because if, if I don't, then I'll forget, and I will, and then I'll be like, why it doesn't, why, why am I not drawing? Is there something wrong? my tablet and then I'll say no because you forgot to change it back to black. Actually why, why would I need a triple box? I, I only use the pen so I guess I could just leave it here. Let's see. Let's see how it looks uh, right now. Hmm. Yeah that looks good. I would say at least. Oh wait, no, no, wait, wait, no, it's intersecting right there. It shouldn't intersect there. Oh no, this is not good. Not good at all. Uh, quick shade. Uh, erase that. So I was gonna have to erase that anyways. I wonder if Critter recognizes that that doesn't exist anymore. That I'm trying to erase it, or is it still say, "Oh, I know that still exists." Then we have information on that. Oh, that would be bad because I don't want it to render all that. I just want it to render this. There we go. I I hope that works. Let's look at uh twelve, no fifteen. Just. Oh, wait, no, no. There we go, and go back to finished 15. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll do it straight down. So, yeah, the ball could have used it as a ramp, or it could have used it as a, a, a wall. It jumped over the wall. It jumps over a wall. Why is the wall rounded on one side? Shouldn't it be like. <laughs> who designed this wall? Oh. That's not the point. We're not here to discuss the politics of the wall. <coughs> yeah. I mean, you should know the date, and you should know the time we are living in, and you should know what I'm referencing. And you should also know what I'm not trying to reference. Oh well. Maybe. Maybe people will know. What I'm referencing. Maybe not. Does it really matter in this case? No. Uh, I'm currently doing frame 21, which is the squashed ball on the other side of the wall. Let's see if I could do this correctly. Nope. <laughs> Time to reset the whole thing. Oh no. Darn it. And see, this is why you don't do the whole line in one fell swoop because of that. Of me trying to re reset the whole thing, and like, you just want to go back a little bit so that you fix it, but you can't. 
I could just use an eraser, actually. That would be better. That would be better. Like, like why do I keep getting that one? Because I want to do that. And erase this because uh, let me fix that, and then maybe I could fix this as well. So the sides are fine, but the what do you call that? The the tops and bottoms are not. So. And everyone's wondering, why do I keep doing that? Um, you know, like placing it there? Because I switch between my mouse and tablet. That's mainly because, you know, some things are easy to do with a tablet, some things are easy to do with a mouse. Drawing, good with a tablet. Um, changing things, easier with a mouse. That looks like a floating car. <laughs> hmm. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Well, you know what you're going to do. You're going to fix it. Okay, yeah, that ball too small, too small. Uh, ball number ball at twenty-three is too small. So erase, erase this, and make it a little bit larger. I think the base is fine. The base is fine. You just need to make it a little bit wider and a little bit taller, but only a little bit, whatever that means. Okay, that looks more equivalent to that ball. So, okay, so that means I'm missing uh, one frame here and then one frame or, or two frames here, two frames here. So, one more frame goes here between it, it's seven. This one, this frame, right? No, not, not layer. Uh, cut layer, yes, new frame, not layer, uh, this one is also small, and I need to make this larger, and I could probably elongate this more, so, not super far elongation, but enough so that it's not, it's not, it's not, it looks more like this is arcing, that, that's what it should look like, move that up, Move that up, hangs in the air for two frames. Maybe I could actually make this smaller. So we this goes to ten and then this goes to fourteen. Let's look at it how it actually looks. Now. At this moment. Oop. Yeah, that that would actually look better. And I could probably do let's see add at 19 so yeah take a frame at 19 and take a frame at 17 okay so 17 and spell this one oh wait onion skin don't forget onion skin because onions they have layers you know what else has layers? Seven layer dip. <laughs> you know what else has layers? Other things that have layers? I know you're not gonna make me say it. You're not gonna make me say it. Um If you know the if you know the meme, then you know what I'm going to say. But if you don't, then ask someone who does. I don't know who else knows the meme. A lot of people know the meme, actually. They, they... I didn't make that up, so... But I'll give you a hint. DreamWorks. This is not a ball. Uh, okay, hang on. Does this seem reasonable? Hold on. Everything closed, and then maybe I could. Just, how do you. No wireframe, so maybe I could. Okay, make that invisible. Okay, let's see how this looks. At this moment right now. Jump. Oh. 
Ooh. 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 It looks like it's floating a bit more. But I'm hoping that the the human brain can process that image and say, okay, yeah, that, that seems like motion. Motion of the ball. Mm. Hold on. I think I know the problem here. Uh, this one is too far from this one. If I made this closer... Let's see. What if I played it at, I don't know, 24 frames a second? How would that look? It's one second. This entire animation is one second. Okay. <laughs> Two times speed. I mean, does it look better? No, it doesn't. It doesn't look better. So, I think I know what I have to do. I have to take these two, right, move this one here, move this one back one, move, move, okay, so that, oh, oh wait, no, so 12, wait, no, not 12, uh, 24 here, 12 frame rate, okay, jump, Maybe it's just the problem with my, my, I guess the squashed ball. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe, I don't know. Let's, let's just play it again. Maybe I, I should probably add a frame here, add one frame here that basically goes from, not, not a layer, I keep doing this, I have to stop doing that, I have to add a frame here, frame, okay, got framed, so got a frame, and it's got to go between the two extremes, you, you know, this. So it looks still squashed and not, not below the ground, hopefully. And I'm following the green one. Okay, so let's see. So if I make it this way. Yeah, that does not look like a good ball. Maybe if I go this way, the other side, the other way. So I don't follow the green line. That does not seem reasonable. This one, why am I, why am I troubling with this? Maybe it's fine. Maybe people are saying it's fine. You don't need to do this anymore. Please stop talking. Just want to end. I just want this to end. Um. Okay, fine. I'll let it end here. This works. Nope. That annoys me. That annoys me here. This annoys me. Erase that. Uh, move back to this and just let me finish this one last thing. No, oh, don't make it too straight. You gotta still make it curved. Uh, that, that looks better. Doesn't look good, but it looks better. But we'll see. Jump. Okay, that seems a little bit more smoother. Because there's that, that moment of So yeah, it looks better. So, I guess that's my animation. That'll be all for me. Uh, goodbye. Oh no, oh no, the battery, 18%. I better get this to charge. Anyways, goodbye.